Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chom here and as you guys can see today we have a brand new season of Ranked Door starting and of course with every new season we get new PvP rewards and today I'm going to go through these new rewards with you guys and tell you what I think about these cards and how useful I think they might be. So let's start things off with the first card, an ultra rare card named Dinatherium. So this guy is a level 4 wind monster with 1600 attack and 600 defense and his effect reads, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Dinatherium once per turn this way. When special summoned this way, your opponent can target one level 4 monster in either player's graveyard. They special summon that target to their side of the field. So, when you first read this card, you're going to think, hey, this is actually pretty bad. If I special summon this guy, my opponent gets to special summon any monster from the graveyard, mine or theirs, as long as it's level 4. So, it seems like a really disadvantageous card. However, I think it's actually pretty great because... If you get this card in your starting hand and play it turn 1, there's not going to be any monsters in either graveyard for your opponent to use and special summon to their side of the field, so he ends up being a free special summon. And of course, when we get to the era of Synchros and Ekaziz monsters, having that ability to double summon for free is going to be absolutely amazing. You special summon this guy, your opponent can't summon anything, then you summon another level 4 to then overlay for an Exes, or you summon a Tuna and Synchro summon. So I think this guy's going to be very incredible when the time comes, but of course, until we get Synchros and Exes, he's going to be pretty average. Anyway, moving on to our next card, we have Rose Archer, a level 3 earth monster with 1000 attack and 100 defense. And its effect reads, during either player's turn, when your opponent activates a trap card, while you control a plant type monster, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. So this card is actually in some way similar to Rose Lover, as it has an effect that stops trap cards. However, in my opinion, it's a little bit shy of being as good. So it's really amazing that this card is a hand trap and you're able to discard it to prevent the trap card from activating and destroy it. However, of course, it lacks the ability to special summon a monster. But of course, getting Rose Lover in the graveyard isn't the easiest thing either. So in my opinion, I think this card could see play depending on how your deck is built and how many cards you have that can help you get Rose Lover in the graveyard. But the fact that it is a hand trap that negates and destroys traps is absolutely incredible. And I am pretty keen on using it. I'll probably try it out in my Romage deck and see how it goes. The one major downside to this card, in my opinion, is the fact that it's actually not a plant monster, but rather a warrior monster. So that, I think, is its major shortcoming. But other than that, having a hand trap that negates trap cards is spectacular, and I can't wait to give this card a shot. Anyway, moving on to our next card, we have the rare card, Fly Fang. So it's a level 3 wind monster with 1600 attack and 300 defense. Its effect reads, If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. At the end of the battle phase, if this card inflicted battle damage to your opponent, banish this card into your next standby phase. So, this card is somewhat similar to that Stingray card, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's that 600 attack monster that's able to attack directly and then banish itself. Again, like I said, very very similar to that, however, in my opinion, this one isn't as good. While it of course can destroy monsters, and it's able to do more damage, 1600 attack isn't very powerful, so there's going to be a lot of times where you're not able to get over your opponent's monsters, you're not able to do damage, and then you're not able to banish yourself, and you kind of get caught with your pants down. So, I think it depends on what kind of cards you're running, you're definitely going to need support to buff this guy up, but if you can do that, if you can get into like 2100 or something, it's a pretty powerful card. And especially if you run various cards that will, you know, have benefit with you being attacked directly on, on your opponent's following turn. Overall, I think it's interesting and I definitely think you can play into its effect and make it very powerful, but other than that, I think it definitely fits the role of a rare card. And finally, guys, moving on to the last new ranked duel reward, we have Rabbit Dragon. So this card is basically a Rabbit Dragon. As you can see with the picture, it is a level 8 light monster, and of course, it's a dragon with 2950 attack and 2900 defense. So it's pretty standard. I mean, the 2950 is very powerful, but if you're going to be running normal dragons, you're probably going to run Blue Eyes because it actually has a thing called support cards. But... I think it's pretty cool to have in the game. I don't think anyone's really going to use it apart from the fact that it is literally a fluffy dragon, which is pretty cool in its own right. But other than that, not a very useful card. And of course, again, I think it earns the, its title as a normal card. But anyway, guys, that is it for this update for the ranked duels. I think these cards are actually pretty great. I'm keen to get my hands on Rose Archer, and I'm probably going to use all three of my tickets from this season to get three copies of it. At least I'll get two. And I'm definitely going to use my one ultra ticket on Dinatherium because I believe in his potential when we get Synchro's Nexus in the game. He's going to be very, very, very amazing. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap things up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, if you guys want to see more videos just like this one where I bring you information about updates to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, make sure you hit that subscribe button also because there'll be plenty more videos like this coming very, very soon. Either way, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.